Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Another question from microbiology background. Why sir can't make video on microbiology background? Whether you are from microbiology, but yes, I am from microbiology background. I did my graduation and masters both from microbiology. That is my strong side. But I made myself clear to all the different chapters. I prepared developmental biology to the same interest that I did for molecular biology and cell biology. Because if you understand biochemistry, cell biology and molecular biology, well, it will be very easy for you to understand developmental biology, easy to understand plant physiology, easy to understand immune physiology and what not. So that's why anybody coming in from microbiology background can qualify CSINET examinations without much of a problem. Yes, you can do that. But how to do that, to understand that, and again, I'll put it through. The first thing that I'll compare is the syllabus. The syllabus of microbiology masters, graduation masters to that of the CSINET life sciences. And you'll find the common topics out there. What are the common topics between your master's syllabus of microbiology? and uh, CSINET life science syllabus, many things. You have biochemistry that is common, unit 1. You have cell biology that is common, unit 2. You have molecular biology that is common. You have uh, unit 4. The whole 4 unit is for from microbiology actually. This is microbiology for you. Okay. Uh, so, these are the common units. Uh, then a portions uh, from uh, let's say uh, unit 12 uh, and a portions from unit 13. These are the, the most common units that you'll find out from your microbiology syllabus as well as the CSI and life science syllabus. So these are all modern biology topics, not classical biology, but modern biology. And there are these six uh, topics, six such units are out there which are very common. Okay. So the units that you are preparing, if I put the second information that are the units that you are preparing, apart from all these units, unit 1, 2, 3, 4, then uh, 12 and 13, apart from that, there are other, you know, obviously 8 is out there, 8 is out there uh, that is common, that, that you have already prepared from microbiology background. The molecular genetics part is already there, so I write it 6 plus 1, total 7 units are out there, uh, which are common. The genetics that is Mendelian genetics. Human genetics might be new to you, but the molecular genetics is common. So I can say uh, six and a half, not the whole genetics, but some portions of it should be clear to you. Now, the rest of the portions you can easily manage to prepare because genetics is 100% conceptual and you can build these concepts. Once the concepts are clear, you don't need to revise and mug up every single time. It, it's staying with you. Okay, It is going to stay with you. So the units that you can work a little more to clear and prepare would be unit 5 because mostly cell biology is involved with developmental biology aspects and plant physiology and um, animal physiology and obviously so these are the three units that you can prepare. Apart from that the unit uh, 10 and 11 is something that you can also prepare with a little more effort. Unit 10 is a part of classical biology, 11 is also part of classical biology, but in unit 11, we have population, we have population genetics, hardy Weinberg problems and all, that you can prepare with this knowledge of microbiology. And a portion from unit 12 is already mentioned out there, which is uh, the applied biology common to it. So, 6 to 7 units that uh, is common based on your syllabus only, 3 of them you can easily prepare uh, just by putting some extra effort, not very much though, but little extra effort can clear this three more units for you. 7 plus 3 will give you 10 units, which is enough for anyone to appear in CSN examination with this idea of qualifying the examination. And with little extra effort, you can prepare two more units. So that will be 12 out of 13 units common. That is why I always say individuals from microbiology background will get sure advantage of qualifying CSINET examination. Although many of you believe, many of you may believe that zoology is the subject, but no, in reality, the number of questions that are being asked are mostly from modern biology. The reason behind it is that the question makers, the question setters, they are working with different molecular biology aspects. They are working with the aspects of modern biology. So, uh, that's why the questions are also related to protein. Even if it's from plant biology, it is related to some kind of protein. Even if it's from the developmental biology, related to some sort of 
of immunocompromised mice. So the questions are always linked to cell biology. At its core, it's linked to cell biology. It's linked to immunology. It's linked to the basics, molecular basics of the cell, molecular basics of all the organisms. That's why microbiology students, biotechnology students get a sheer advantage uh, for qualifying CSI and examination over the classical biology students that is from zoology students and botany stu students keep this in your mind but I'm not telling that if you're from zoology or botany background you won't be able to qualify still you can qualify with 8 or 10 units prepared but here you can prepare 12 units out of 13 which is a very good 12 to 13 unit out of 13 unit preparation obviously will give you the time frame to you know the number of question to to choose to to, to not to choose and can answer that right so that's why uh, the perfect time frame I can give you is a year obviously a year but you can also do that in six months if your microbiology graduation master preparation is good enough if your concepts are clear enough at that time then you can even prepare all this in six month time frame yes it is possible six months is a decent time frame not very good but decent time frame but with a year with all the 12 and 13 unit preparation I believe is a concrete preparation time window from the uh, microbiology background students to crack CSI net life science examination so all the very best for the upcoming CSI net life science exam and if you need an extra edge if you need that extra advantage the guidance the preparation the practice from MCQs and giving you the mnemonics the tables the charts then you can join Shomo's Biology online coaching that is the premium most service if you cannot afford that you can go and get our study material if you cannot afford that go and get to this uh, our website and see and watch all the videos that will immensely help you to prepare CSI net examination. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.